Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric here today. Um, wanted to talk to you about how to knock out um, a KO plug for your own size and your back of your cabinet of your panel. So we're at just a house today at a single family home. You can see the old stain where it took off the panel. This is the underground riser coming in with the feeders. So um, our utility company request that we be on a certain side of the meter. Um, I don't I think it's a really dumb rule personally, but they request that if you're going to enter in the right side of the panel, and the panel's on this side on the left, that you're entering the opposite side of the cabinet of the meter. So, for example, here's our meter. They want us to enter in right here because the panel will be on the left. So, anyways, we had to measure this out to get this to fit. So once I put these two panels together side by side, here's my knockout. This is a uh, hydraulic knockout set. And what you're going to do is you have to pick the right die for the job. So when you're picking that, here is a chase nipple that I'm using, it's a 2 inch metallic. This will sleeve and choke these wires. As you can see I've already twisted these wires together because the code says we have to identify our neutral. So we're just keeping that twisted. I had to straighten every one of these out. They're all bound up, all the grounds together in the neutrals, it was really bad. So I'll get all this put together, I'll slip this over, and this goes on the back of the panel. So you got to make sure you get your right, the right die set for this when you pick it, okay? This is a 2 inch, very very sharp, awesome at knocking out, and that feeds in, okay? So how that works is you'll pick this side of the panel. You'll feed this through, and then this will go into here. This guy will go onto here, and then that guy will go through, and then you hydraulic. How you release is right here, on and off, and you'll see this move right here. That's releasing the oil. And then when you knock this out, I went with the dotty set. Um, these can run about two thousand dollars. It goes from I think this is a five inch, four inch, three inch, two and a half, two, and so on, or four. I haven't looked at this one yet. It goes all the way down to a half inch right here, and then it has its own little piece right here uh, to do your knockout for the smaller ones. This is real important so when you knock out you're correct in what you're doing. Sorry I'm trying to find my offset nipple for you. So here's a two inch offset nipple. And then when I measure this, I gotta measure center of here and center of this knockout. So I got 18 and a half inches center to center. I already put in my slip sleeve. I sure hope I cut that short enough so I can get this into here. I think I'll be fine. And then when I measure this 18 and a half, I made a mark, because it's the knockout they prefer. And then I measured 18 and a half to here. And then next I measured up. 
So as you can see, that way I can install my own bushing and still be able to put in my two inch offset nipple. Now this is considered a concentric knockout or an eccentric knockout, okay? So looking like a C versus an E, some of them look like an E. You have to use bond bushings here because I didn't knock it out. Now I knocked this out and I don't have to, but this is because this is the feeder side. So power comes in here, comes down, goes through the nipple and up to the top of the panel. I'll put my main breaker in later and show you that. But right here, this just has to have a bushing to protect your wires. Typically you don't need a bushing if anything is under a number four, but because we still have Romex and we want to protect it, we'll put a lock washer and a plastic bushing. Last thing you want to do is install a plastic bushing and undo everything you did just to get that on. So just appease your inspector. If you do it backwards, it doesn't matter to code because this is a smooth side. But I take a picture when I meet my inspector. If he asks me, I can show him the bushing that I put on. And I make sure I take a picture of the front side so he sees the same mark as the same panel. Um, so it's really up to you. But this is how you have to pick your knockout. It is difficult, but you can't move this, and you can't move this, and there's cement down there. And you have to rise this up and down. So this will have to probably be cut off and flexed in. Um, and that's the least of my worries is this guy. This is our grounding already. So we got our two ground rods and then downstairs for a water bond. But um, yeah, so knocking out a panel, man, you gotta be very precise on your precision. It's gotta be lined up. If you don't do it right, you're not getting a second chance. And when you're dropping 250 bucks to 350 on a panel, depending on which one you pick, your cost um, and that's all you have out there that day that's a bad mistake so make sure you measure it five times and punch once all right thanks guys